Today we will discuss about the general features of eyelid and we will cover introduction function of eyelids parts of eyelids positions of eyelids medial and lateral canthus palpebral aperture and the lid margin Now let's start with introduction the eyelids are mobile tissue curtains placed in front of the eyeballs the main function of eyelids are protecting the eyes from injuries and excessive light spreading the tear over the cornea and conjunctiva drainage of tears by lacrimal pump system now the general features of eyelid a parts of eyelid each eyelid is divided by a horizontal sulcus into an one orbital part two tarsal part Here in this figure we can see this is horizontal sulcus this is orbital part and this is tarsal part Now position of lids upper lid when the eye is open the upper lid covers about 1/6 of the cornea which is about 2 mm lower lid the lower lid just touches the lower limbus Now canthi the two lids meet each other at medial and lateral angles which is called medial canthus or lateral canthus or exocanthus or endocanthus respectively here in this figure we can see this is endocanthus and this is exocanthus the medial canthus is about 2 mm higher than the lateral canthus d palpebral aperture it is the ellipsoid space between the upper and lower lid When the eyes are open it measures about vertically 10 to 11 mm which is called palpebral fissure height and horizontally 28 to 30 mm which is called palpebral fissure width Now the lid margin it is about 2 mm broad and is divided into two parts by the punctum one medial part or lacrimal portion It is rounded and devoid of eyelashes and glands. Two, the lateral parts or ciliary part, consists of rounded anterior border, a sharp posterior border, and an intermarginal strip. Here in this figure, you can see this is anterior round border, this is posterior sharp border, and this is intermarginal strip. The junction between the skin and conjunctiva is called the gray line. The gray line divides the intramarginal strip into n, one anterior strip, its bearing two to three rows of lashes, two posterior strip, on which openings of mebovian glands are arranged in a row. In the next video, we will discuss about structures of eyelids.